Hello my makeup family and welcome to this super exciting now yearly video that I do on Lisa Aldridge's makeup products. Recently she released some new shades of her very well loved and very beautiful velvet lipsticks. She also released some new products which is lip glosses and lip pencils. In this video I'm going to be showing you all of the new shades of lipsticks all of the glosses and two of the lip liners this is the one brand that i try to collect every single product from because i truly truly believe that lisa creates some of the most exquisite high quality lipsticks and now probably lip glosses and lip pencils out there if you love these kind of videos please consider subscribing to my youtube channel and let's jump into it Described as the cool girl, easy going colour, this is a sticky toffee shade with neutral, warm, golden undertones. Described as a muted, burnt, rusty red with yellow undertones, this muted red is a perfect colour for every day. Described as an electric pink with blue undertones, an acid fuchsia with an attitude. In this shot here, I'm only applying it in a thin layer and in the final shots, I show you it with two layers on. So this is one of the first kits that I bought which was a velvet blush kit and this comes with a lip liner so the lip liner corresponds perfectly to the lipstick velvet blush and also the embrace gloss blush. Velvet blush is described as a berry pink with muted cool undertones. It is an incredibly feminine colour. Built up, this colour gives a beautiful deep berry pout and I just wanted to see what it looked like with the gloss on top of its kit and I also show you in the next shot the gloss by itself. So this is Velvet Blush by itself on the lips with no lip liner or lipstick underneath. These feel incredibly beautiful on the lips and they can definitely be built up for a high impact gloss. This is the Gloss Embrace Muse and it is described as a smoky rosewood, a classic neutral pinky brown. Okay, I just have to stop this little like run through of the swatch to just say these feel so comfortable on the lips. like. They just feel like you've got oil on your lips, but it's 
comfortable it's not greasy it's not sticky it's not stringy it's just so comfy on my lips and i'm like mm. <laughs> as someone who is like terribly dry on their lips pretty much all year round but especially in the winter these feel so comforting i've had a very long day at work i've been up since 6 a.m and it's now almost nine o'clock at night and my lips are like dehydrated i'm tired but these feel so nourishing on my lips and this is only the second one that i've worn and it just feels so nice so let's jump back into some more swatches this is gloss embrace myth described as a wild vivid mulberry tone with blue and red undertones providing brightness for the whole face and teeth This color is just everything. This is the Gloss Embrace Go Lightly. It is a salmon pink coral shade. It is reminiscent of the early 1960s Hollywood and it does have a hint of golden pearl in there which makes it incredibly flattering on many skin tones. This is Gloss Embrace Beauty. Beauty is actually one of my favorite, you know, in the top five of my favorite Lisa Aldridge lipsticks. And it's described as a new wave, a vibrant rose pink with blue undertones, lending itself to a fresh innocence. So this is the second lip kit that I'm heading into and it's the Ribbon Lip Kit. Ribbon is one of the shades that I was missing from my collection and I thought it'd be a great time to test this shade out. So here I'm applying the lip liner and I must say it's such an easy lip liner to work with. Ribbon in its lipstick form and also gloss form is described as a bold universal red with a hint of blue. Okay guys, so there are all the new products swatched out for you. Let me know your thoughts down below and which one you think suited me the best. These are my initial thoughts. The new Velvet lip shades are absolutely stunning. I don't think there's any repeat shades and I will have a comparison video coming up very, very soon. So if you guys have colours like Myth, Muse, um, Fawn, Go Lightly, things like that, and you think there may be repeat shades in the new four that she has released, then you can watch my comparison video. And to stay up to date for that when it releases, just hit the subscribe button. In terms of the lip glosses, I am gonna just say it outright. I think it's probably one of my favorite lip glosses that I've tried right off the bat, and I thought, yes, this is everything I want in a lip gloss. They are really pigmented, but they're not overly pigmented to where you can't control how much you have on your lip. I think the way that she's actually designed these lip glosses is very, very clever. So the doleful applicator doesn't apply and oversaturate the applicator. So even though it's a highly saturated color, the applicator itself puts on quite a lot less than what i'm used to with other lip glosses which is really good because the pigmentation of these lip glosses is quite high so the balance between how much pigment is in these lip glosses versus how much the applicator actually gets saturated and how much is applied on your lips is perfect i think she's nailed it right down 
and in terms of all the good ingredients that she was speaking about in her video in terms of the oils and the butters and things oh my god these feel so freaking sumptuous on the lips and like i said i am somebody with extremely dry lips i hate winter time my lips always feel chapped and prior to starting this video my bottom lip was a little chapped and i have applied how many six seven eight nine about ten different lip products and my lips actually feel more comfortable now having put on ten different lip products because of the oils and the good ingredients in these lip glosses than they did when i started this video having applied lip balm all day and that is saying something good to me i have a feeling i'm not going to be able to stop using these new lip glosses because i am a lip gloss girl deep down but lisa aldridge's velvet formula is my favorite lipstick formula and i think these glosses are about to be a new favorite hands down and then in terms of the new lip pencils a very intriguing product i find that there needs to be a careful balance between lip pencils i find they can't be too smooth because if you have too smooth of a lip pencil they tend to go everywhere and you can't get those very sharp crisp lines but they also can't be too waxy to where when you rub your lips together if you apply it all over your lips they you, you don't want that waxy feeling where it, it's like a bit um like candle wax where it's smooth but it's also got like a bit of a tug on it as well i feel like these are a really good balance they are very smooth very pigmented but you can still get a really precise line on your lips and i'm very very impressed the color match to blush and also to ribbon which is the two shades that i have here is spot on there is not it's not a hair darker or a hair lighter than the colors that i applied which is fantastic and it also means that you can get shades so i got one nude and one red because i have several nudes and i also have several reds and they're both two of my favorite colors for lipsticks so i feel like these two colors will work well with the other nudes and also the other reds in my collection so if you're thinking about which lip liner or kit to purchase maybe think about which colors you use more frequently for me it's a nude and a red so i feel like i can use these for all of the nudes and all of the reds that i have from her and in other lipstick formulas and collections and i also just want to give a huge huge shout out to this bag because it is a piece of artwork and i know it's an artist that designed this bag and i have to say it is incredible it's just so beautiful so aesthetically pleasing to look at it is just incredible it feels amazing it feels luxurious all the details from all of the previous launches are there and so much more and what can i say you guys she just blows it out of the water and this is the thing with the brands that we see constantly releasing makeup we must truly ask ourselves where the quality control comes in and i feel like lisa's brand because it comes out once a year if that um there's just so much quality and thought that goes into it from the details of the bags to the detailing of the perfect balance between a highly pigmented gloss and how much the applicator actually gets saturated these kind of things these kind of details i find that we don't always see in makeup brands that are just constantly releasing products and it's so nice to spend my money it was a lot of money that i spent on this collection but it's so nice to spend my money in a place where I know the product is being made from a really, really good place where it's, every product is being quality controlled. Every product is made with thought and with precision behind it. And it's not just whacking heaps of products out there for the masses to buy. And I just find that the luxurious price that you pay for these lip products from Lisa Aldridge are truly worth it and that is no different with her new releases of lip glosses and lip liners and the new shades of lipsticks that she released they are fantastic phenomenal incredible quality and i have nothing but good things to say so i hope you enjoyed this swatch video i hope it was useful for you seeing lip glosses next to their corresponding lipsticks and also all of the shades on my skin coloring as well i do hope you enjoy don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. Stay safe everybody and I shall catch you in the next one.